friends, my name is Jackie. Welcome to Super Enthused and welcome to freezing cold Waco, Texas. I'm here in Waco for another purpose, but while I'm here, I gotta get a travel vlog in. What's closest to me, cool and historic? The Waco Suspension Bridge. So let's go check it out. As you approach the Waco Suspension Bridge, you walk through a sculpture that's actually multiple sculptures of cattle and fellers riding horses herding the cattle across the bridge, commemorating the bridge's history because cattle used to be herded, herded, is that right? Across this bridge. There are a lot of Longhorn sculptures as part of this piece. And people seem to really be enjoying them. I've seen people taking photos with them the entire time that I've been here. This one's called Trail Boss and Longhorn. This side is called Vaquero and Longhorn. He's loaded up with bullets and a gun and a giant hat, riding his steed, ready to cross the bridge. And this piece is called Drover and Longhorn. So we're making our way through the cattle and then we're gonna walk across the bridge. The Waco Suspension Bridge is a historic bridge. It's on the National Register of Historic Places and it is an architectural historical feat. It's also called Texas Historical Civil Engineering Landmark. Open to traffic in 1870, selected as an outstanding engineering achievement by the Texas Society of Professional Engineers. The Waco Suspension Bridge contained new innovations, which made it an important forerunner to the long span suspension bridges of the world. Situated on the Brazos River, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, it could be Brazos, it could be Brazos. The Waco Suspension Bridge is now open only to pedestrian traffic and it spans about 475 feet. It's got beautiful river views on either side and there are lots of people walking around. It's so windy so I apologize if it's interfering with the audio. I'm trying my best to work with it. I know there's wind, I just know it. Over here it looks like the remnants of an older bridge. The street that this is on is Martin Luther King. As you can see down there, there is a painted mural dedicated to Martin Luther King right down there with a platform on top. Ooh, maybe we can go down there. Look at the thick steel cables holding it all together. Let's get an up close look at the cables. Wow. Look at them. Pretty thick, pretty strong. They've gotta be to hold this all together. Before we make our way all the way across, we're right about the middle. Let's take a 360 view. Let's take a look over here at the river on that side. And there's a bridge over there as well that cars can cross, automobiles. And there's where we came in. And that's the other side. Oh, look at the birds. Let's keep going. We've made it to the other side. That was pretty quick, it's a short walk. As you can see, not too far across, very pleasant. You can see that there's lighting up here and it looks like that was donated. And I'm sure that's really pretty at night. Oh, the birds are just having a field day right now. We've walked across the bridge and come out the other side. Here we are on the other side. When you come off the bridge, there's a little walkway. Oh my goodness, it's cold. And you can go down these steps. As you can see, the bottom of the stairs are pretty much immersed in water and they're covered in slippery mud. So, not so much with the climbing. We can admire it from here. And here we are under the bridge, so we can see the slats we just walked over. Look, there's space between them. Oh, don't think about that when you're crossing it. Here's a kind of sweep. And there is the suspension bridge. Very cool. That was a nice stroll over the bridge, affording us some nice views and a nice introduction to Waco. I'm here for such a short trip, really in and out, that I'll try to grab whatever cool things I can, 
but this was the first thing I saw that struck my fancy, so I wanted to make sure to share it, capture it, and share it with all of you. Let's take a little bit more of a look at this uh, sculpture garden, as I call it, this multi-sculpture sculpture piece that commemorates the cattle crossing the bridge. And there are more of the Longhorn ready to make their way in this giant stampede or herd <laughs> across the bridge. It's January now, so it's chilly, and there's not a lot of leaves on some of the trees, but they're beautiful in that wintry way. You know, the wintry way. I had a long flight today, I had a nice walk, and I've worked up an appetite, so now I'm gonna go have some dinner and see what else I can accomplish tonight. again. It's day two in Waco and I've been able to film almost nothing. Probably the dramatic arc of this story is just me being cold and having no time to do anything. But now I do have a little bit of free time before my flight home very early tomorrow. I have to be up at 5 a.m. and I am not enthused about that. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. It's fine. So it's nighttime, it's in the 40s outside with a bitter wind chill, but I'm hungry. So I'm gonna walk outside. I may just end up eating in the hotel lobby. I don't know, but whatever I do, I'll take you with me. So let's go. I'm hitting the bridge at night. I'm gonna see what it looks like with the lights. The sculptures look really nice. with the backlight behind them. The bridge is very well lit at night. I noticed a plaque indicating that these lights are a product of a donor so that pedestrians can continue to enjoy the bridge at night. And look, it looks very lovely. So let's take a night stroll on the bridge and then we'll find some food. The civil engineer who was hired to work on the Waco suspension bridge was Thomas M. Griffith from New York. He built the first bridge spanning the Mississippi River in Minnesota. The Roebling Company of Trenton, New Jersey provided the cables and the bridge work and it's the same firm that worked on the Brooklyn Bridge. It's rapidly flowing just like it was during the day yesterday. Oh, there's some lights over there. I believe that's the stadium. Let's go to the other side. Oh, it's kind of glittery, huh? Look at the glitteriness. And I'm all alone out here. All alone in the cold. So dramatic. Look at that. A fast flowing river. Oh, I'm not alone. There's other people. More drama. I'm so cold and I'm so hungry. And the birds are telling me it's time to go. This was fun, Bridge. This was fun. And that is the drama of this vlog. It's that I'm so cold that I have to cover my face up. Look how pretty the river looks. I like the shadow effect of the cables on the building that houses the cables because of the lights. It looks like a shell or something, some sort of art deco design. And it's over here too. And the moon's out. I'm cold. Should have worn gloves. The sculptures look just as glorious at night as they do during the day. It's a really beautiful piece, really striking. I definitely recommend you come out and pay a visit to the Waco Suspension Bridge if you find yourself in Waco, Texas. Oh, I ate, I'm back, it's bedtime. I have to be up at 5 a.m taking an Uber from Waco to Dallas-Fort Worth Airport to catch a flight back to Miami. I can't wait. Back at the airport, and I'm going home. Thanks for joining me for this mishmash travel vlog. I'll see you back in 
Florida and for more travels.